I'm Dan Staler, and here's an overview of a recent collaboration published in the Journal of Animal Ecology with my colleagues Doug Smith at Yellowstone National Park, Dan McNulty at Utah State University, and Robert Wayne and Bridget Von Holt at the University of California, Los Angeles. Reproduction in wild vertebrates is shaped by numerous morphological, behavioral, and life history traits, as well as environmental conditions faced by breeders. Despite numerous studies on reproduction, little is known about the relative influence of traits, particularly in the context of environmental conditions that determine their adaptive value. In this study, we used 14 years of data from the wolves of Yellowstone National Park to identify traits important to female reproduction under varying environmental conditions. Wolves are social carnivores that live in territorial family groups in which they cooperate to raise young, hunt large prey, and defend resources from competitors. They have a brief life history relative to other large carnivores, including early first reproduction, high fecundity, rapid development, and relatively brief lifespans. Our analysis simultaneously assessed and ranked the strength of factors driving female reproductive success. Specifically, we evaluated how a mother's age, body size, coat color, genetic heterozygosity, and pack size influence litter size and pup survival. The role of environmental stressors such as competition and disease were also evaluated. Through helicopter darting and capture, fitting radio telemetry collars, weighing, and monitoring individuals in the population through time, as well as applying molecular techniques, we are able to measure individual traits and reproductive performance for breeding females. To evaluate the role of body mass, we used age-specific weights taken from a female growth model. We showed that females grew rapidly in their first year of life, then more moderately until reaching maximum body size by just under three. This age corresponds to when females typically begin reproducing. Reproductive performance improved with increasing body mass, a pattern consistent with other mammals. For wolves, the reproductive benefits of large size, combined with rapid growth and early age of first reproduction, indicate that the first couple years of life are important to a female's lifetime reproductive success. As in other species, we found age-specific reproductive performance. Statistically, females showed no improved success following their first reproduction, but exhibited senescence around age 5, which is the median lifespan for wolves in our study. Although heterozygosity was not correlated with success, we showed a surprising effect of coat color. Interestingly, gray females had 25% greater litter survival than black females. Previous work in Yellowstone wolves demonstrated that gray or black coat color is determined by the K locus, a beta defense gene that has two alleles and is believed to be associated with immunity. While the mechanism for this coat color effect is unclear, it is possibly due to how a female's color genotype and its associated beta defense gene action influences physiological trade-offs important to reproduction and survival. As in other cooperative breeding species, group size is an important predictor of a mother wolf's success. However, we show that pack size effects are nonlinear and differ between reproductive stages. Specifically, improvements in early litter sizes peaked when eight wolves were present, after which they decreased with additional wolves. This negative correlation may reflect costs on maternal condition incurred from intra-pack competition for food or social stress during the breeding season. In contrast, pup survival was enhanced with increasing pack size. Importantly, the positive influence of helpers was strongest for small packs, indicating that there is a threshold below which pack mates are critical to a breeder's success. In addition to having more helpers to hunt and provision young, larger packs have numerical advantages during intergroup and intra-guild competition for resources like food and territory, which contribute to offspring survival. Finally, we found that higher wolf population sizes and disease outbreaks had significant negative effects on reproduction. Our finding of negative density-dependent effects is likely due to increased competition and strife with other packs under high wolf densities during our study. Outbreaks of canine distemper virus were associated with pronounced pup mortality. Although stochastic, disease prevalence is a critical factor for female reproduction and may be a strong selective force in wolf systems especially if linked to individual traits that offset its negative effects. Having shown the effects of multiple factors on reproduction, we then asked what is the relative importance of different traits under varying environmental conditions. A sensitivity analysis 
which allowed comparison of effects across a common scale, indicated that body mass is most influential, followed by pack size. Reproductive gains due to larger body size and cooperative breeding appear to mitigate losses associated with population density and disease effects. These findings highlight the adaptive value of large body size and sociality in promoting fitness in the context of environmental challenges. Such knowledge may help predict how wild populations will respond to global climate change, disease, habitat alteration, and human exploitation. This may be particularly important to the conservation of this controversial but charismatic and ecologically important apex carnivore.